What do you know about x-rays? We all know they are used to take pictures of your bones or see the contents of your bag at the airport. But have you ever imagined that a very powerful source of x-rays could also help solve industrial problems and could help speed up your innovation process? Well, yes it can, and the ESRF does this. A wide range of techniques is open to industry at the SRF. Dr. Tobias Schuli, Beamline responsible, will give us an insight into nano diffraction and surface diffraction. The nano diffraction and surface diffraction end stations at the SRF are mainly specialized to study crystal structures or structures in general in thin coatings or in interfaces. Why X-rays? Why the SRF? I mean, first of all, X-rays are non-destructive, can look at buried interfaces, so below coatings, and can be used under real conditions concerning uh, eventual aging, aging processes. So when we look at buried interfaces or buried structures in a device, for example, we do not need to alter the device when preparing it for the measurements. We can look at the real structure. This is of a particular interest for example, if we look at interconnects, metallic interconnects in an integrated circuit. Because we can orient our instrument to look only on the structure of the metal, and thus we are blind for all the semiconductors around, and we solely can look at the crystal structure of one interconnect or of several interconnects at the same time while they're, they're uh, altered during the use of the device. Another interest or another in interesting topic for the non-destructiveness of the technique is, for example, thin film photovoltaics. Because there, it may, it's often interesting to get an information as a function of depth in the layer. Because these layers usually have supposed, are supposed to have a different structure as a function of depth. So our depth-sensitive technique, at the same time as the micro-focusing techniques, they can study all these parameters as crystal structure and composition as a function of depth without any difficult sample preparation. Delivering beams more than a million times brighter than a lab source, processes or experiments that take only a few minutes at the SRF would be unfeasible with traditional X-ray equipment. These me typical measurement times allows us also to study chemical reactions in real time, like for example, as the most prominent case, catalytic reactions. The problems met in metallic interconnects and integrated circuits regroups a whole bunch of thematics that are classical metallurgy topics, like interdiffusion, recrystallization, stress and strain and grain at grain boundaries, as well as interdiffusion or electromigration if we specifically look at the interconnects. To, re to, to investigate and decouple all these phenomena, we need smallest beams with highest flux that can be supplied by the SRF. Other than the mere crystal structure of thin films, we can look, for example, at orientation differences, which means waviness. I mean, many thin films have a waviness way below what's, what's detectable with optical microscopes because the waviness is inside of the crystal lattice. This is particularly important for, for example, bonded thin layers as nowadays applied in, in many uh, microelectronic applications. And these thin layers, the waviness of these thin layers is so lately detectable with X-rays when using a microbeam smaller than the wavelength of light. So this is a typical sample that can be exploited with this machine. Uh, we can see there's an, an array of small structures on this uh, piece of silicon. So these are prototype devices from semiconductor industry. So one basic advantage of our methods is that we need no specific sample preparation to investigate uh, these structures. So we can directly take the sample as it is from the production line, 
of the semiconductor industry from the R&D production and stick it on our diffractometer and start the measurement. So once the sample is sticking, the strong points of this machine are a very precise positioning in uh, three dimensions. So we've got very precise translations with a nanometer precision. And in addition, we've got angular movements with a milli-degree precision. So to marry these two uh, requirements is usually a challenge. So the, the, the very strong point of this instrument is to have both very precise spatial translation and very precise angular rotation. So the instrument was designed specifically for our needs and is unique uh, in the world. We need the degree of freedom in rotation and the high precision of rotation to measure, for example, distortions in the material, which means we measure interatomic distances with very high precision. That's why we need angular precision. So now we're looking at small devices like a, a transistor or whatsoever. That's why we need high spatial precision, which means a very stable positioning of the sample and a very small beam. The techniques applied are usually X-rays under grazing incidence, making them very surface sensitive, so we can probe the structure of a thin layer, a coating, or an interface as a function of depth. Or we can focus down the beam to 100 nanometers, for example, to look at the local nanocrystalline structure or glassy structure of a coating or a thin uh, metal interconnect, for example. So the typical aging processes studied are either change of the crystal structure, which is responsible for aging typically of metal uh, interconnects, or change of the interfacial structure, the density at the interface of the materials, which is typically responsible for crack formation in anti-reflective coatings. Offering nanometer precision, this instrument is mainly designed to satisfy the requirements for the small beams, but it is kept in a versatile way that it allows to perform traditional surface diffraction. That means samples that have an interest to be studied with grazing incidence diffraction to be surface sensitive may have at the same time an interest to be studied with a small beam to have a local information. So once a sample is mounted on this diffractometer, both methods can be applied. If you're interested to know more or to find out how the SRF can help your business, please contact Dr. Edward Mitchell, our Business Development Manager, or visit our website.